Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to be talking about arithmetic series and sigma notation. So the question first is, what is a series? Well, a series, okay, it's the sum of a sequence. Okay, we've already done sequences, now we're going to do series. So we're going to take all the numbers in a sequence, like 2, 5, 8, and we're going to add them up, and that's what a series is. So first, we're going to go over a little proof here to prove how we get our um, series formula. Well, if I, get, if I gave you um, this sequence right here, 2, 5, 8, plus, dot, 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 and I said I want you to find the, first, the sum of the first 10 terms. So 2, 5, 8, all the way to 29. And again, the way we get 29 is we do our first term plus the number of terms. We want to find the first 10 times the difference with 2, 5, 8, so we know that D is going to be 3. So that's 2 plus 9 times 3, so 27 plus 2 is 29. So that's how I got the 29. Now if I were to rewrite right underneath it the same exact um, series, same exact sequence, I'm just flipped in reverse, so starting at 29, going back down to 26, 23, all the way to 2, this is basically the same exact value. Now, if I were to add these two lines, if I were to add down, I would get 2s sub 10 is equal to 31 plus 31 plus 31 plus dot 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 plus 31. Okay, hopefully you guys are seeing the pattern here. Let me just move this down a little bit. Okay, so now we can actually say if these are 10 terms here, we could say this 2s sub 10 is equal to 10 times 31, because there's 10 31s. All right, and now to get s by itself, we can divide by 2. And since it's multiplied, I can, just, I can put 2 only underneath one of them. So I'm going to put it underneath the 10. So here we have s sub 10 is equal to... 10 over 2 times 31. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign values to get our formula. So let's say we didn't know what 10 was. We're talking about the number of terms. Notice the 10s match up. So you can say n over 2 times. Now here, how do we get 31 on all of these? Well, if you think about it, the 31 is your first term, so a sub 1 plus your last term, a sub n. So now this is the formula we're going to be using for a series. So however many terms we're looking for, that's what n is. And we're going to find the first term plus the last term and multiply and add those up. Okay? All right. So let's do our first problem. It says find the sum of the arithmetic series in which the number of terms is 45. So n is 45. It says the first term, a sub 1, is equal to 14.3 a sub 45, so our 45th term, is 80.3. Well, this gives us enough information to actually go ahead and plug into our formula to find the sum. So our sum, so S sub 45, is equal to N over 2 times 14.3 plus 80.3. Okay? So that is 22.5 times, that's 94.6. So, let me grab my calculator here. If you were to multiply those out, you get 22.5 times 94.6 S sub 45. So the sum of these 45 numbers is going to be 2,128.2. <clears throat> So again, this is how we do it if we're trying to find the sum. If we're given the number of terms, the first term, and the last term, then we can just plug straight into our formula. Okay? So let's work on the next one. So here's my little problem bank here. So let's move this one up. This will be our next problem. Okay? Find the sum of the first 35 terms of the arithmetic series, 27.5 plus 26 plus 24.5. Plus 23. Well, the problem with this one is we know the term, we know the amount of terms, 35. 
We know our first term, 27.5. The problem is we don't know our last term. We don't know our last term, so we have to find our last term. So our last term, <coughs> a sub 35, it's equal to our first, 27.5, plus n minus 1 times our difference. And notice, each one is decreasing by 1.5. Okay, so we have, and this is going to be 34, so we have 27.5 minus 34 times 1.5, okay, because this will end up in negative 51, okay, and when we subtract those, we get negative 23.5, so that'll be our last term, all right, so now, sorry, Let's move these down. Let's keep moving that down here. Let's go ahead and move that down. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Here we go. Okay, sorry about that. So here goes our last term, a sub 35. So we can plug in now, so our, the sum of the first 35 terms is equal to the number of terms over 2 times our first term plus negative. So it's um, plus our last term, but that is negative. So when you add a negative, we just put minus 23.5. Therefore, we get 35 over 2, which is 17.5, okay, times 27.5 minus 23.5 is 4. So our final answer for that, I know it, <clears throat> is a uh, 70. There we go. So that would be our sum. Now, because of a problem like this, there is another formula for, for series. Okay? We still have our n over 2, but since we don't know, so this is our first formula, we can go ahead and find the last term, or we can set up another formula. We could say a sub 1 plus whatever a sub n is. But remember, we said that a sub n is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. Okay? So this is taking the place of a sub n, which we can actually combine like terms. So here goes our other formula for series. We have n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So when do we, so here goes our other formula. So when do we use each one? We want to use this formula if we know the number of terms, the first term and the last term. We would use this formula right here if we knew the number of terms in the first term but we didn't know the last term. So we'd have to plug this, um, this information in, okay? So two formulas you can use. Let's go to our next, exa next example. All right, so here we have, write the expanded form. So here we have, uh, introduce you to a new thing. It's called sigma notation. This is the Greek letter for sigma. This is just another way of saying sum, okay? So when you see this, this means the sum of the terms. So here we're going from the fifth term. So this is the first term that we're going to deal with. This is the last term we're going to deal with, okay? Number of terms. So it says, write an expanded form, the expanded form of this, then find the sum of the series. So the first thing you want to do is plug in 5. So uh, we're going to leave that um, as a 5. We're actually not going to multiply that out because we're not finding the sum yet. First, we're writing expanded form. So 70 minus 3 times 5 plus... 70 minus 3 times 6 plus 70 minus 3 times 7 plus, and then what we're going to do, because I don't want you to actually go all the way to 40, with this you do dot dot dot, okay? That's just saying and everything in between. Our last, we go 70 minus 3 times 40, okay? So this is just writing it in expanded form, and now we're actually going to solve this. Okay. 
Well, the easiest way to solve this is figure out what we're going to use. We're going to use this formula here, a sub 1 plus a sub n. When you're given sigma notation to find the sum, this is what you would use, this formula right here. Well, the number of terms, the question is how many terms is it from 5 to 40? But remember, you have to um, include the number 5. So that is actually, we naturally think that's 35, but in actuality that's going to be 36 terms because include the number 5. So here, n is 36, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 40. a sub 1, it's what happens when you plug 5 in. That's what a sub 1 is. So here's our a sub 1, right here. So that's 15, 70 minus 15 is 55. A sub n, our last term, here's our very last term. So we have 70 minus 120, which is negative 50. So this is the information that we need right here, okay? n is 36, a sub 1 is 55, again, when you plug in 5, what do you get? a sub n, when you plug in 40, what do you get? So now we have, here we have that, we plug in 36 over 2, a sub 1 is 55, plus a sub n, which is negative 50, so we're going to change that to a minus 50. 36 uh, divided by 2 is 18. 55 minus 50 is 5. Therefore, our final answer is 90. Okay, so the sum is 90. Again, three things you need to know. N, a sub 1, a sub n. Number of terms, 5 to 40. That's 36 terms. Um, a sub 1, it's what happens when you plug the bottom number in. What happens when you plug the top one in? It gives you a sub n. Okay. All right, one last problem here. It says write 18 plus 25 plus 32 plus 39 plus dot, 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 plus 158 using sigma notation. So here, we're actually going to write in sigma notation. Well, we're always going to start with number one, okay? Our first term. That's what we're going to put. One is our first term, okay? And then we're gonna, we need to figure out how many terms are actually here because we only see five, but how many are in between? Well, we need to first find our common difference, okay? So the difference here between each one is going to be seven, okay? And if you think about it, a sub n is equal to our first term plus n minus one times d. Well, we have our last term, 158, it's equal to our first term, which is 18, plus n minus 1. That's the one thing we don't know. We don't know n minus 1 right now, but we know our difference is 7. Okay? Well, from here, we can subtract the 18, and that leaves us with 140. And if we distribute, we get 7n minus 7. Okay? Okay? Let me just get these out of here. And then if we were to add 7, we have 147 is equal to 7n and divide by 7. So we know that n is equal to 21. So that's what we put up here, okay? n is equal to 21. Now what we need to figure out is what goes up front. <clears throat> All right, what goes up front? Well, the question is how do we get our first term to 18. So we know that 7 times something, times our first term, sorry, uh, times n, 7 times n um, plus some value, okay, let's call this um, x for this problem, um, is equal to 18, okay? So 7n plus something is equal to 18. But we're talking about our first term, so we're going to plug in a 1 there, okay? So we have 7 plus x is equal to 18 to get to our first term. So therefore, if we subtract 7, we get x is equal to 11, okay? So the way we actually write this out in here is we do our 
um, we put our n here. So 7, since that's our difference, 7n plus whatever that would be, um, 11 goes up front. So this is writing in sigma notation. Okay. Does, so to check your work, plug that in. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 11 is 18. That's our first term. Okay. That would be our first term right there. Again, how did we do that? We say 7, our difference, plus what is equal to our first term. Okay, so we found it's 11, so we put our difference times n, um, plus that whatever that x would be, would be our sigma notation. So good luck with that. Um, this is our assignment right there. That is how we deal with sigma notation and series. So good luck.